Good evening, dear viewers. Welcome back to our game show, Seven Taboo Questions. Let's give a warm welcome to our special guests, Peter. Hi. And Chelsea. Hey. Tonight, they're going to be sharing their opinion, and you will have the chance to be able to call in or log on to give your opinion and tell us whose opinion you agree or disagree with. Let's get started. Let's start with our very first question. And the question to Peter and Chelsea is, is there ever an appropriate time? And can you give us an example of when you should ask somebody, how much do you earn? Peter, let's start with you. Well, in my opinion, I think people are very secretive, too secretive about their earnings. But it's true. I once told a colleague how much I earned, and she went rushing to the boss to complain about why she was on half my salary. So now I understand why people are a bit secretive. So maybe close friends and family are okay. All right. And Chelsea? I personally think it's okay to ask maybe politicians and celebrities that about how much they earn. Uh, it's public knowledge sometimes. Very interesting. And what about you, Teresa? I entirely agree with Peter. Our next question I certainly have an opinion on, but let's ask Peter and Chelsea. Should smoking ever be banned in public buildings? Well, the way I see it, I don't smoke, so I would prefer that it would be banned so that I don't have to inhale others' smoke. And, and Peter? Well, I reckon that uh, it's not much fun for passive smokers, you know, and I have to say it would be quite terrible if uh, I kind of died from inhaling uh, other people's cigarette smoke before I managed to pay my tax bill on time, you know? Uh, Death before taxes. Mm -hmm. What about you? I think so. I agree with both. Our next question will take us back to our college days, perhaps, of the very important question, should medical marijuana ever be legalized? Chelsea, what about you? It seems to me that medical marijuana could be useful as long as you could prevent abusing the drug. Interesting. And Peter? If you ask me, marijuana is just kind of bad with a capital B, and I don't believe there are sufficiently good arguments to uh, allow its use even for medical reasons. I think we have some very fine and excellent and inexpensive pharmaceuticals available from some of the finest uh, companies around the world. I think marijuana for medicine, hmm, it's a non-starter in my opinion. All right, there they have it. And now to our viewers, Teresa, what do you think? Chelsea, that's exactly what I was thinking. Question number four comes to Chelsea and Peter of, should there ever be any restrictions on the type of animals you can eat? Well, I'd say that it's a cultural difference. I shouldn't have the right to restrict what other people find as a delicacy. For example, my last night's alligator was delicious. But Peter, <laughs> to you, what is your opinion? Well, as far as I can tell, nobody ever died from eating a dog. But I per personally wouldn't want to, you know, uh, eat my lovable companion uh, this side of Christmas anyway. Yes, save Fluffy. <laughs> <laughs> now we've heard from Chelsea and Peter, but what about you? That's exactly what I was going to say. And Chelsea, you took the words right out of my mouth. This next question I will advise Chelsea and Peter to tread lightly, but should there ever be a circumstance where blonde jokes are appropriate? Peter, let's start with you. Well, to the best of my knowledge, blondes do have brains, and I think some of the blonde jokes are a little bit on the cruel side, so I'd like to see them stopped personally. Well said. And Chelsea, what about you? Well, let me tell you, I have told many of blonde jokes in my time, but I have found that they can be quite cruel. So as I have grown, they have stopped. So. All right. All right. <laughs> Teresa, what do you think about the blonde jokes? Well, I totally disagree. Because you start restricting jokes, and then what are comedians going to do next? They're just going to stand there and go, I'm funny. This may be a little bit controversial, but that's what Seven Taboos Game Show is all about. Chelsea and Peter, should prostitution ever be legalized? Hmm. <laughs> I 
imagine that in many places it is. However, for me, it always provides an awkward situation with those that I'm in the car with and driving by. So I'm going to go with no. Very clear no on that. Peter, is there any gray area in your opinion? Well, I suppose that uh, legalizing prostitution would increase uh, revenue for the nation, which would be a very positive thing. And actually, I was invited by a friend of mine to become her sort of manager. She told me it wouldn't be exploitation. She loved her work. But when I consulted my wife, uh, I didn't get a very kind of, you know, positive response. So hmm. Probably on balance, it shouldn't be legalized. I can only imagine that the wife wouldn't be supportive of being a pimp, is what we call it, Peter. But <laughs> Teresa, what about you? Well, I disagree. This final question is going to put all of you on the edge of your seat. Chelsea and Peter, is there ever a time if you were to find out that someone is cheating on their spouse, should you tell this person or should you stay silent? Peter, let's start with you. Well, do you know what I think? Uh, I think that you should stay silent. I can say this from personal experience. I always thought that I was doing the right thing by spilling the beans, but it always rebounds on you. So... I think it's the best policy. All right. Silence is bliss is Peter's opinion. What about you, Chelsea? If you ask me, huh, it's a situational question because sometimes it's best to plead the fifth and stay silent, and other times you might be saving the person a lot of heartache to tell them now. So I think it depends on your friends and who who you're speaking about. So, hmm. All right, absolute silence or maybe understanding the context are their opinions. What is your opinion, Therese? That's a good point, but it depends on the situation. Ladies and gentlemen, you have called in and logged on and shared your opinion if you agree or disagree with Chelsea and Peter's opinion. We are gonna share the results right now to see who had more people agree with them. Peter, you received 235,513 people that agreed with you. Congratulations. Thank you. And Ch Chelsea, ladies and gentlemen, I have never seen this before. You also received 235,513 people that agreed with you. Congratulations. Ladies and gentlemen, from today's game show of seven taboo questions, we have set a landmark of a tie between our two contestants. Thank you for logging on and calling in. We'll see you next time. Hey, hey, hello, hello. What about my votes? Yoo-hoo. Hey, I'm not sitting here for nothing. I ain't got all day. Come on.